What's going on guys? It's Classified here. Today I'm going to bring you guys an F14A early Tomcat radar tutorial. Uh, just a quick breakdown of all the different modes, the differences uh, between them, and some a little bit of video footage from a test flight to show you guys uh, what it means and what it's all about. But first, you guys know what it is. Hit the subscribe button. I love you all. Thank you so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoy this and it's informative. So. Before we get into this, I want you guys to pull up your radar, uh, which is Y11, your radar menu format or whatever. And this is just going to be a basic rundown of all the different modes of pretty much every top tier jet that has radar capabilities. This is just to get a basic understanding of the different key functions so you guys can map them. First one's going to be your search mode or the mode and your keybind 6 will be able to do that. Uh, the angle, which is going to be keybind seven, and thirdly, we're going to look at the the range or scope of the um, the radar itself, and that's bound to keybind eight. Now, the first one we're going to look at is going to be VSL. VSL is really really cool. I really like this uh, radar function. It's vertical scan lock on. You guys can obviously read, but it's basically able to keep you parallel to the ground, so you can keep your speed maintain your speed or you know get speed depending on your fuel uh, depending on your speed going into committing to the um, the lock and then the, the missile release and it's very very cool I really like it it doesn't have a very wide angle but it's got a very very tall angle which is really really good to have if you have an aircraft or enemy that's above you going to be BST. Um, you can change it with keybind 6. It stands for Bore Site Acquisition Tracking, which is basically just another form of saying ACM mode. Um, and it just changes the scope and range of um, like that little box right there is the only thing that, you know, obviously your radar is going to be looking at. The other one's going to be TWS. Everybody's ranting about TB TWS track while scan. This is really cool because it's not giving your enemy a radar uh, uh, lock on RWR signal or warning um, they are still going to be receiving that you are they're getting a ping spike from you but they aren't going to be getting a uh, tone that you are locking them currently until you release your missile when, once you release their, that missile and it goes pitbull you, you that enemy is receiving a RWR signal and it knows that it's being tracked by something missile radar whatever it is um this one is just the pdv uh pdv 7380 uh basically just what this stands for is uh your search mode which is pull stopler but it's photonic so photonic is the search of light um, this is a really really cool aspect because um, you can change the different ranges of this based off of the speed that they're coming in at and I haven't really used this much in ARB or really anything at all, but um, I think it's really cool. Um, gives you a different function to, to utilize that for. And um, so VSL and BST, you can use both of these in pull stopler or non pull stopler mode. Um, so you can use this in rad regular radar search mode, or you can use this in pull stopler mode and you can switch between those functions, which I think is really, really cool. So you can see I'm using this in regular radar search mode. Um, you can't get a lock because of the noise from either the clouds, the water, whatever it might be. Um, and I'm not able to get a actual missile lock. Um, I can still track him or I'm um, radar locking him, but the missile isn't going to be able to because of the, the noise that it's being created. So I fire off a missile just to showcase you that it's, it's not going to lock. Um, it, it's it's just gonna be a dead missile basically um, so I switched it back to pull stopler um, use still using the vertical uh, the vertical sight and or excuse me the vertical scan lock on um, and so pull stopler if you guys know pull stopler is the how fast you are coming up to a target um, so I'm still not going fast enough to him until now and now we're able to get a lock and we're able to launch a missile and actually be able to have the missile be effective in the battlefield. 
So I hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god, that shot was so good. Oh my god.